And here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, Peter Conlon. A native Atlantan, Peter Conlon graduated from the University of Georgia in 1975. I wanted to be in the music business, but it's very hard to break into. I started to go to law school, and I saw the news one night and it announced Jimmy Carter running for president. I called up the Carter campaign, and whoever answered the phone, I said, are you looking for people to work with you? And they told me to come down, and there was like five or six people there, and they hired me on the spot. I stayed with them for six years. Peter joined Jimmy Carter's presidential campaign and later served as his executive assistant and White House liaison to the Small Business Administration. At 26 years of age, the White House asked Peter to serve as the national fundraising director for President Carter's 1980 re-election campaign, organizing benefit concerts across the country. Once his service in Washington ended, Peter returned in 1980 to Atlanta to start Southern Promotions, a political consulting and entertainment firm. He eventually formed a business partnership with music industry veteran Alex Cooley. It wasn't long before their company grew into one of the country's top ten entertainment production agencies. I was a highway man, along the coach roads I did ride. From producing the Highwaymen's Tour in Europe and Australia, traveling to Moscow to negotiate an international 40-city U.S. tour for the National Red Army Chorus, Southern Promotion's name recognition had expanded from Georgia to a global brand. <laughs> Peter served as co-producer of the very successful Music Midtown Festival. The 12-year-old festival was considered one of the world's premier festivals, with as many as 300,000-plus patrons attending the three-day festival, featuring 100 acts on multiple stages. Throughout his career, Peter has enjoyed being a part of the joint management of Atlanta's Chastain Park Amphitheater with the Atlanta Symphony Orchestra. Over the years, the park's summer concert series has featured performers such as James Taylor, Steve Winwood, David Bowie, Van Morrison, Peter Gabriel, Robert Plant, Alicia Keys, Chicago, Santana, and many other world-famous acts. In 1992, Peter and Alex Cooley opened the Georgia Dome with U2 for the venue's inaugural concert. Since then, they set a record for attendance in the Dome, with the Backstreet Boys appearing in front of 76,000 fans. In 1998, Peter and Alex sold Concert Southern Promotions to SFX Entertainment in New York, which later became Live Nation. As a part of Live Nation Atlanta, Peter found himself running the Cotton Club, the Coca-Cola Roxy, and in charge of touring attractions presented at Phillips Arena, the Arena at Gwinnett Center, the Fox Theater, and Lakewood Amphitheater. In 2006, Peter produced the first ticketed event in Piedmont Park, a green concert to benefit the park where over 55,000 people rocked with the Allman Brothers and Dave Matthews bands. Additionally, Peter produced the Nelson Mandela event at Grant Field, as well as a benefit at Chastain Park for His Holiness the Dalai Lama, for which he received a personal blessing. Today, Peter is responsible for Georgia, Tennessee, and Alabama as president of Live Nation Atlanta, a division of Live Nation, the largest producer of concerts in the world. The summer wind came blowing in from across the If there's something you really love doing, then, you know, that, that's the best thing for you in life. You'll never regret it. Thank you all very much. You know, for all the attention and accolades, the real test is getting Alex Cooley out on a Saturday night in a tuxedo. <laughs> if you can do that, you can do anything in this business. A um, few people I really want to thank on um, the business side, of course, Alex, who is my partner and friend. Um, and there's not a day goes by that I don't think, what would Alex do? Uh, not I always do it, but I think about it. Um, I want to thank Tom Beard, who is always a great friend and 
has continued to be one and introduced me to Alex and to Phil Wall and, and to Ahmed Erdogan and people who are very important to me. Um, if it wasn't for Tom, I, Alex and I wouldn't have been in Chastain Park. He was the most important person in that. Um, and Ahmed Erdogan, who was a mentor to me and a friend and helped me continually through the business when I first started, always available. First had lunch with him, told him I'd be a promoter, and he looked at me and stopped for a moment and said, why do you want to be one of those scumbags? And, but he still gave me advice and helped me out. On the personal side, I want to thank my parents, my mother and father, especially my mother, who went back to work after 20 years. Um, to help me get through school, uh, to my brothers, uh, my niece Anna, my nephews, Paul and Stephen, because they told me I had to, um, <laughs> to my godsons, Corey and Chandler, and to the best production and promotion team in the country, Ruthie Marshall, David Helberg, Amy Helberg, who's my right arm, um, Scott Leathers, Barbara Sammons, um, Holly Madison, who's the best marketing person in the country, and um, I'm trying to think, Scott Leathers, Glenn Amdor, everyone who's helped me. Uh, it's a team effort, and also all the people in Atlanta who continue to come to our shows. Thank you. Rosen joins me in congratulating our dear friend, Peter Conlon, on being inducted into the Georgia Music Hall of Fame. It's particularly fitting that Peter's being recognized in this way for the great work he's done over the past three decades in bringing spectacular acts to Georgia. With little or no money, he helped organize excellent concerts that helped me become more than just Jimmy Who when I was running for office and was able to recruit the Allman Brothers and many other stars to participate. Peter, we're grateful for your years of friendship and we're proud of your great accomplishments and we wish you all the best tonight and for years to come. You deserve this honor, and many others. Hi, Peter. It's Michael Stipe. On behalf of everyone at REM and the REM office, congratulations on your induction into the Georgia Music Hall of Fame. We're very proud.